just to be able to ski is just, I love it. It's something to take your mind off everything else that's going on. You go out there and you don't really think about much else. Just can't wait for that to come down so I can slide around on my planks, but definitely a good feeling when I see it coming down. <laughs> freedom. <laughs> Nothing else matters. It's just you flying through the snow. <laughs> I'm gonna be skiing until I die, first of all. <laughs> and uh, I think uh, after I graduate in May, I'll probably be heading out west. Um, Probably take a year off and just be a ski bum. Shred the pow. <laughs> I'd love to pursue skiing as a career even just because I can't really picture myself living somewhere without mountains. That's something I definitely want in my life. You really got to get creative around here to push the limits of your skiing. Sure. You can't just go and cruise the trails and uh, you know feel very accomplished at the end of the day. You got to find new and exciting things to try and progress yourself. I mean, there's a lot of different things you can do with picnic tables. It's just a bunch of pieces you can move around and you can set it up in a bunch of different ways. I think that uh, not having those mountains around really pushes the urban scene a little more around here and really makes us get a little more creative. I don't know, so that's why, you got, that's why we're always checking out around town, around over in College Town around here, trying to find rails and stuff so that we can put our skis on without having to go to the mountains every day because it's 45 minutes away sometimes and sometimes you don't feel like it was worth it. So there's always some stuff to do around here as long as you're looking for new things to do. You gotta be on top of your shit because uh, the weather is so inconsistent around here that it'll snow one day and it'll rain the next. So you gotta be ready to go when you get the snow. You gotta be ready to get out there. I love, like, especially in the powder, I've never, I couldn't feel more in my element when I'm doing that kind of stuff. It's like, it doesn't even compare to like anything else I do. Yeah, you don't. When I'm on the snow, I feel more comfortable than anything else. When I'm walking around, you don't see me with a giant cheese and smile <laughs> on my face, but when I'm skiing in the powder, it's uh, hard to wipe that smile off my face. Uh, people, when they see all these edits, they uh, 
All they see is kids stomping tricks. They don't really understand how much effort goes into putting these things together, building up, making it right. And uh, it takes a lot more than one try usually to get those shots. That's what most people don't understand. It's, uh, it's hours of work for the 20 to 30 seconds you see in the video. It's crazy, it's just like, you see it coming up, it's coming up fast. <laughs> All of a sudden you're in the air like that and then everything's a blur until you land and then you just come back into reality. It's crazy. Great, coolest feeling ever, I think. <laughs> we went up kind of in the hopes that they still had their jumps and rails set up because they had just closed. But unfortunately they had uh, groomed all that stuff out. The only things that were left were the mounds for the landings on a couple of the jumps. Luckily we found a couple of barrels on the side of the trail, a little corrugated tube, and we were able to uh, have a little fun. We got creative, set it up in a bunch of different ways, and uh, had a great day that day. It was nice and sunny, and it uh, couldn't have been better. Some people think we're crazy, but we're not that crazy. <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah, some people will definitely give us some sideways glances when they see what we're doing, but... I just like the adrenaline. I guess that's probably what turns some people off, you know, when you're flying through the air, especially if you're spinning. There's split seconds there where you don't see the landing, you don't know where you're at really in the air. And uh, it's nice to be able to land, and when you do, it's a great feeling because, you know, you've accomplished something that a lot of people can't do.